here. All right, let's see if we get a computer screen and some volume and see what we get here. See who, see what fun ad comes up to start tonight for me. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. We're 20 seconds in. Come on, YouTube, sometime today. 25 seconds in. Waiting, 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 waiting. 30 seconds in. Come on, YouTube, let's go. How about a screen here? Finally, 42 seconds till I got an ad. Okay. And who is it? REI. All right. There we go. Okay. So we can see what's going on. Hello, gang. Happy Saturday night. 42 seconds after I hit go live before my screen came up with an ad. So that'll tell you what kind of delay I've got tonight. Even when I uh, put the uh, slow mode on, you guys know I'm pretty anal about getting that on at five till it took over a minute for that to register so all right so let's see i see carl lynn scott McHugh, vivian zadrank zadranic oki forge patriot preacher reagan dog 54 cal kevin very good we've got a whole bunch of five by fives all right happy saturday hope you guys had a nice day got some stuff done mrs p and i were out painting all our shutters today those got done so I'm hauling stuff around, and Mrs. P was on the paint gun. So that was the fun part around here for today was get that done. So tomorrow we will start putting them up, weather permitting, of course. It's supposed to be cold here tomorrow, only supposed to be in the high 50s. So, but is what it is. Uh, tomorrow is a big day. Uh, I am going to finally put up the who should I vote for spreadsheet i'll put it up over on uh uh lost my mind here uh i'll explain it all in the morning okay uh but i'm gonna give you this this is a good one out of all the 221 republican congressmen we have 14 can consider themselves conservatives that's it okay uh, and I, like I said, I'll explain the whole thing tomorrow. I've tracked a whopping six major votes since last summer, including the one today where we decided to send another $60 billion to Ukraine and absolutely zero to our border. Uh, yeah, there are 14 people that have voted with conservative principles on all six issues. There are some that have voted on none of the six issues, and I'm not, and these are Republicans, okay, that are, they are the definition of rhino, but I will give you all that tomorrow, so you guys can take a look at that, if you want to look at it, I put it all together. Uh, freesteading, that's where I'm going to put it, so, uh, <laughs> couldn't think of the name of the page, uh, so I will put a link in tomorrow's video. Guys, uh, and just as a heads up, because I know it's hilarious when people say, you need to put your sources down. Under every video, if I'm quoting something, in the description box underneath are the sources that I am quoting this stuff from. Okay, so when I say I'm going to put a link up or something, look in the description. That's where you're going to find it. Okay, so that was it uh storm chasing gal trump has not said the speaker is doing a great job the speaker has said that trump has said that uh the trump campaign came out yesterday and told mike johnson to stop saying that because it wasn't true okay so yeah all right uh we're gonna go right into this real quick here tonight so we can get things going so q a time get in quick as per normal, if you got questions for me, put them all put them in all caps. Uh, makes it easier for me to see them. What's directed at me in the chat room? Uh, if you guys want to have conversations amongst yourselves, which I wholeheartedly endorse, okay, uh, please keep those in lowercase. That way, I can go through what's directed to me, and you guys can have the conversations that you're having. Sure, as I tell everybody, pay attention to the chat as best you can. Sometimes I don't have an answer. Sometimes somebody may have a better answer than me. Uh, and sometimes I just can't, don't ever see a question because you know how the screen jumps 
and I don't get to see everything. So please put it in all caps. Makes my life easier. The other thing is, guys, keep it civil in here, friendly, polite. Uh, if you are going to be rude, obnoxious, crude, anything like that, the mods will toss you. There is no second chance. Don't bother asking me, emailing, oh, I, I didn't mean to say it. Don't care. Okay. If you can't engage brain before putting fingers in gear, maybe this isn't the right place for you. All right. Let us get to the top after all the five by fives. We'll get into what we got here. Okay, I know I got you guys started early today, so there's not a whole lot of people that typed stuff in already. Uh, Amanda Wilkerson says it rained all day in South Arkansas. Yeah, I know we're supposed to. We we had rain yesterday, uh, but nothing today. It actually was a bright blue sky, very few clouds today. It was a beautiful day, high 60s, so it was nice. Not no wind, so it was a good day to paint. Uh, free staying there, tell the prepper. Okay, you got it there. Do, 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 do. Uh, Southern Magnolia, the Speaker of the House is a turncoat. I couldn't agree with you more. I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt after a couple of these uh, recent things. He really lost me with the cont uh, continuing resolution that he promised he wouldn't pay, uh, put on the floor to fund the government and then still did. But this one that he had today with funding Ukraine was a Democrat bill. And there were all the Democrats voted to fund Ukraine. More Republicans voted no than voted yes. But yet our illustrious rhino speaker of the house put this through. And so congratulations. We are all $60 billion broker than we were 12 hours ago. Yeah. Uh, no, he's got to go. I mean, you know, people bitch about Marjorie Taylor Greene or anything like that. I'll admit she's bombastic, but she's right with everything she talks about. Kind of like somebody else I know who hopefully will be back in office next January. So, Highlander, Republican and conservative are two totally different things. Absolutely. So I've said to you guys many times, I do not consider myself a Republican. Okay. I consider myself a conservative. Uh, and there are some conservative or some Republicans that are conservative, but most of them are liberal, which sucks for us. You wonder why this company, this country is so screwed. It's because of turncoats, traitors, liberals and rhinos that's it okay if it if we had the moral intestinal fortitude that we had oh i don't know let's go back to the reagan era the eisenhower era the country would be in pretty damn good shape but after all these liberals and i'm really a liberal i'm just not going to tell you like hmm, bill clinton George, uh, George W. Bush, you know, Barry Hussein. Yeah, we are FUBAR. You know, the only way you are going to straighten this country out is to clean house of Congress and put true conservatives in there for a couple of generations. So we have a point where there is nothing. I mean, liberalism needs to be dead. I mean, there, there's no other way to put it. This is a Liberalism is a cancer worse than COVID, okay? We need, we need a vaccine for liberalism. Uh, Saffron Bay T says, thank you for the heads up on generator, generator deals on the 18th. Mom and I both took advantage of that. Now on the medical prep needs, good deal. Glad to hear somebody got involved in that one. Uh, Scott McHugh, this I couldn't agree with more. Trump needs to close the Bank of the United States to the world. You know, I want to give you this. I'm just going to make this comment. You'll hear the same thing in the morning. Never, ever, ever again do I want to hear Congress whine about 
Social Security going broke. Because if we've got hundreds of billions of dollars to piss away in foreign countries all over the world, Ukraine, Israel, everywhere, why the hell can't we come up with that money for the people who've been screwed out of their money through Social Security for decades? I mean, I did a video, it's got to be, what, six, eight months ago or something like that. I went through and calculated what my return would have been instead of giving my money to Social Security, if, I would, if it would have been invested in the S&P 500. That's it. No trading. Just put it. Put it in a mutual fund, you know, that an ETF, a spoof. That was it. Uncle Sam has screwed me out of nearly a million dollars. I mean, what I'll get when I retire versus what I could have off the income if they would have put it just in the market, not stole my money. Okay. I would have had three or four times the income, if I remember, monthly and had over a million dollar nest egg to leave to my daughter. But no, with the money that they took and put in Social Security, I'm lucky if I'm going to get anything because they stole it from me. I don't want to hear ever again, oh, we're worried about Social Security going broke. Well, then you shouldn't have pissed all that money away in Ukraine. Ah. Uh, Christ child, what can I do to keep ants out of my okra? Simple solution on this one. Don't plant okra. Yuck. <laughs> Sorry, that's the answer you're getting out of me on okra. Uh, Florida mama bear, how's my weight loss going? Weighed in this morning at 289 even, so I am down 20 pounds exactly. Kind of hit a plateau here in the past four weeks again. I hit a plateau. I dropped about six pounds again. Now I've hit another plateau again. So... Just silly. So we'll see what it comes up against. Uh, tell more. Who will be Trump's VP pick? Now, I don't know. I told you who I'd like to see, but I've never even heard his name mentioned, and that's Ted Cruz. Uh, you know, I would, I wouldn't mind Christy Nome. I don't think she's the firebrand Trump needs. See, here's here's the issue, and this is why I think. I, I still love the thought about Tucker Carlson, but I'd love to see Tucker Carlson as press secretary. I think that would be hilarious. That'd be his chance to get even with Fox and everybody. Oh, Fox, you have a question for me? No. Okay. Uh, this is, with what's going on right now, and Trump's VP pick is very going to be very important. Here's why. You guys know the judge in New York has ordered Trump that he has to be present for all the time in this trial. Of course, of course, you know why. It's so it keeps him off the campaign trail, all right? If they can keep him from campaigning, he can't make Joe look bad. Not that Joe needs help, okay? But he can't campaign. We all know this is a political witch hunt. Everybody and their mother knows Trump is not going to be found guilty. Whether or not this jury does it, we don't know. But by the time it gets to the Supreme Court, everything's going to get thrown out. So, I mean, there's not anybody who's stupid enough to think otherwise, unless you're a liberal. Uh, so they're trying to keep Trump out of campaigning. And so Trump needs somebody who can take it to the street just as well as he can. And I think it would be a really good, I, personal opinion, I think it would be a really good idea for Trump to announce who his VP is now. Because while he's tied up in court, the media will have a good five days, six days or whatever to leave Trump alone and focus on his VP pick. But what you're going to need is a VP who can go out and be as bombastic, as loud, as rallying the troops as Trump is. The only one that I see who's got that is probably Vivek Ramaswamy. And I know people don't like him, whatever. 
if you if you had to make me pick who I think it would be today, that's who I think his pick is. And that would be my reasoning why. Okay. Whether or not I'm right, but that's how I'm thinking. If it was me, that would be how the plan I would have. But I it ain't me. <laughs> so and anybody that ever has ever tried to figure out Donald Trump has failed. So Okay, uh, Prep Rebel, nice hat. You've seen this one many times before. It's my normal hat. Uh, okay, you got to find where it was again. Prep Rebel says, what color am I painting the shutters? Inquiring minds want to know. Forest green. Uh, the house is basically brown and green so uh and there's some tan in there too but yeah nothing exciting just looks like a farmhouse slash log cabin that's it uh tactical matt foley if i had an extra 100 500 thousand bucks how would i use it well depending on the person okay if it was me i'd probably go out and buy more food to fill in any holes that I had. Maybe if I needed some more ammo, I'd go there. For most people, what I'm going to say, this because this part doesn't apply to me, that's what I'm saying. I would put it toward bills. That's it. If it's an extra hundred bucks on the mortgage, if it's an extra hundred bucks on the car, whatever, to get that stuff paid off. Provided, of course, you've got food, ammo, everything like that want to get those bills paid off and i told you guys a week or so ago i put it in the community board nothing makes me happier when i get those emails that somebody says i just paid off my mortgage okay because at that point you know no matter how much joe screws this country up you got a roof over your head as long as you can pay the property taxes and the federal government has nothing to do with the property taxes so at that point the bank is out of your life, and that's a good thing. Uh, Marie Schneidman, can I recommend a YouTube channel that talks about gun laws within the United States? Uh, Colian Noir is a great one. Uh, you could look at Masad Ayub. He's a great one. Uh, God, Family, and Guns will talk about it sometime. Magic Prepper will talk about it sometime. But if, if, if I want to talk about the, the two I would go to, it'd be Colin Noir and Masad Ayub. Uh, Robert Bates. No, we are not doing pink. I'm about to take that wrench away. Uh, Chad K, what kind of rice do you use for storing, if any? Uh, oh yeah, I've got boatloads of rice, buckets of rice, all white. Do not try to store brown rice, okay? Brown rice has oils in it that will go rancid. Uh, you do not want to try to store brown rice. You want to store regular white rice. Just the cheap stuff that you get at Walmart is fine. Uh, you can store... Those rice side, you know, Lipton or whoever the hell makes it, Nor, the, the rice side packets, those would be fine. Uh, but yeah, you do not want to be anything fancy with your rice. Plain white rice is what you want to store. Mike Gibbs, do I need to have two pear trees for pollination? Depends on the type of pear tree. Uh, some you do, some you don't. The one I have is self-pollinating. Others are not. You need to... That's so why you always need to look on those labels when you buy fruit trees and see if it is self-pollinating or if it needs another tree. And if it needs another tree, most of the time the labels will tell you what other type of tree, whether it's apples, pears, peaches, whatever, what other type it can cross with because sometimes they won't cross. Okay, uh, Like... I've got a Granny Smith apple and a Red Delicious apple. I know the most boring apples out there, but those are the only ones I like, okay? But those two can cross-pollinate. 
they don't cross pollinate with everything, but they will cross pollinate with each other. Uh, my pear tree, my peach tree are self pollinating. Uh, so, you know, you got to look at the labels. If here, and, the, and I'm going to give you this, okay? If you don't know, let's say you bought the house and it had fruit trees, and the label's not there anymore. There is an app on your phone that you can use. It's called Picture This, okay? Download the app. You can, and if you play around with it, you'll figure out how you can use it without ever having to pay. You just go into it when it says pay here, you close out of that screen, and all of a sudden you can use it, okay? Uh, you can take a picture of any plant, and it will identify the plant for you. I don't care if it's weeds, if it's flowers, if it's vegetables, if it's trees, Take a picture of the leaves, it'll identify it. Then you can go look at, let's say it comes up as a Bradford pear or a Bartlett pear or something like that. Then you can go look it up and go, okay, do I need to cross pollinate? Is it self self pollinating or do I need to cross pollinate it? So sometimes there's a little work that you got to do into it, but that's a quick way of doing it. Uh, Joseph Cook, don't know if it's local, but there's a shortage of canning salt and coffee. Okay, I haven't heard anything about either one of those. So if there is, I'm not aware. Uh, Dano, thank you for the super chat, 556, I love it. Political figures won't save us. Pointing fingers at the engineered BS won't save us. We as a nation need to unite, be accountable for ourselves. Well, I agree, that's great, but it's kind of like communism. It works on paper, it'll never happen in the real world. Okay, there is no way in the world this country is gonna unite. It, we're, we're so far past that, that's unbelievable. I mean, if you saw the uh, deal in Maryland today, you know, we had another transgender shooting. And when a reporter asked the Congressman about it, the Congressman read the reporter the riot act saying, why are you talking? Why don't we ever identify shooters as straight white Christian males? And I looked at it and go, please remind me the last time we had a mass shooting by a straight white Christian male. Because I can think of the last four we've had that have all been somebody who's gender confused. You know, it's when when they try to hide mental illness, that's a problem. Uh, R. Heath, there you go. There's another good channel. Uh, thank you for the super chat. Guns and Gadgets. Uh, that's another good one. They'll talk about laws, about uh, uh, gun laws across the country quite often. Yes, another good one. Thanks for pointing that one out. Uh, Linda Jurgen, how do you seal off your sewer when SHTF to prevent sewage in your house I, that i do not know i have no idea fortunately it's not a problem i have to deal with but i know obviously anybody who's on city sewer is going to have to uh, i know you can shut off your water i don't know if there's a way to shut off your sewer so that would be something to ask you know a lower local sewer company or whatever it is if there's any way to do it maybe a plumber no i'm not sure not not a question i can answer uh, H E J. Hope you realize some of us in Canada think it work the same as you and yours. Oh yeah, trust me, I know. <laughs> you know, the only problem is you guys are about twenty mm, percent further down the road to communism than we are. Uh, Jason Hoff, could I link? Could you link your freesteading site, please? I will in the morning. Okay. But it's real simple. Go to freesteading.com, look for pinball preparedness, you'll find me. Okay. Uh, Shirley, hello, pinball. Is it true that if you plant cut onion root that you will have green onions all summer? Yes and no. Uh, if you're taking like your spring onions, your salad onions, your green onions, you know, scallions, whatever you want to call them. Okay, you got a million names to them. If you save yourself maybe about an inch and a half to two inches of the bottom with the roots on it and plant that, yes, they will come back and give you more green onions. But as soon as you pull that root, obviously you're not getting any more. If you want to cut the tops off of them, yes, onions, onions will keep coming along through most of the summer. 
but no, you're not going to take the tail end off of a, a yellow onion or something like that, plant it and get uh, onions again. No, that's not going to happen. Uh, HJS video. Overall, Marjorie Taylor Greene's a pretty good, but why do you think she's critical of Johnson but supported Martha McCarthy for doing the same things and worse? Uh, I don't remember her supporting McCarthy. I remember her being on the front lines and wanting to throw McCarthy out. So, uh, yeah, no, I, I do not remember that at all. Doesn't mean my mind doesn't is playing tricks on me, but I remember her being on the front lines of trying to get being one of the first ones that wanted McCarthy gone. Uh, Dawn Hill, we had snow today here in, the, in Northwest Michigan near Traverse City. So this planning se season is insane. <laughs> Any suggestions? There ain't a whole lot of planning suggestions I can give you when it snows. Uh, <laughs> yeah, wait. Uh, that, yeah, no, I can't. I don't know. R. Heath, thanks for the su uh, super chat again. Sewer locks are sold at Home Depot, but if things get bad, plan on using cement in basement tubs and toilets. Wouldn't be salvageable, but might be necessary. <sighs> yeah, uh, I could see that, but yeesh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, I guess that would be, yeah. I mean, obviously you want to do whatever's on the lowest level because that's where it's going to come up first. And if it can't come up through there, I got to think it would, if it can't come up through the basement, then it's going to go up the next pipe and go to the first floor. Yeah, I'm, again, I'm not, but that would be something I'd talk to a plumber about. I'm not the person to answer that question. So, uh, Trucker Hershey, I saw this somewhere. Maybe it was you guys earlier. New phrase for everyone Trojan horse immigrants. Yeah. I mean, I, I still like illegals, okay, because that's what they are. You know, every, every time they try to undocumented people, you know, the bullshit. Illegal aliens. Uh, Country Humans Network. What do I think of the union vote approval at the VW plant in Chattanooga? I... Uh, didn't know anything about it. It's not something I really pay attention to. Uh, if they want to unionize, go ahead. Okay. Problem is, all you're going to do, all, you, all the, all unions were a great idea. Okay. Back in, oh God, a hundred years ago when they were invented to get us down to a 40 hour work week to make companies, you know, treat employees like people, not like slaves. They're a great idea. For the last 60 years, 70 years, the union the unions have become, for all intents and purposes, criminal organizations, steal money from the the workers, and then steal money from the people. You know, there there's no reason in the world that cars need to be as expensive as they are. Now, granted, there's electronics in it, but you guys know the price of electronics comes way down. Think about buying a, a big screen TV 15 years ago and think about buying one. I mean, hell, I can go into Walmart right now. I can buy a 70 inch big screen TV for like 400 bucks, okay? I mean, 20 years ago, you couldn't buy a 32 inch big flat screen TV for under a few thousand, right? Same problem with cars, same problem with a lot of things, you know, go to your local mechanic. I mean, I know what last time I went to mine, you know, he had a sign on a wall, labor hours was $115 an hour. Oh, okay. It's not like the mechanics are getting paid that, but this is the reason why cars are so ridiculously expensive. We're paying these guys a hundred bucks an hour, 90 bucks an hour to work on the assembly line that anymore is all done by robots. They're just pushing freaking buttons. Okay. And, you know, and then we go, well, why is a car $70,000? Well, $50,000 of its labor. So, you know, there's the problem. At least, again, I don't want to qualify this because I know there's probably people out there who work for the union are going to disagree with me. But that's my opinion. Dano, not in Lion's Dead. And thank you for the Super Chat 420. You guys are having funny fun with the numbers tonight, huh? 
Uh, and of course, now I lost, don't see where your comment went. That doesn't help. So, uh, all right, uh, let's see. I'll look real quick, see if I can find it. And of course, here it is. When U.S. vets are labeled as domestic, two plus two equals five. Ain't that the truth? Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, Jay Roop, I like Harriet Hageman. She beat Liz Cheney in Wyoming. She's great for VP. Uh, okay, I mean, pretty much anybody could have beaten Liz Cheney last time around in the special or the election uh, because Liz Cheney came out and said she's, for all intents and purposes, hi, I'm a Democrat now. And Wyoming goes, yeah, that ain't happening. Uh, so, uh, if I look, I'll tell you real quick. Let's see. I just on my sheet. How does Harriet? Harriet Hageman does good. She scores five out of six on the conservative, my conservative deal. So, uh, yes, she's stayed mostly conservative. One time, one time she had a brain fart. Uh, let's see. Trisha says, great job with my diet. It'd be great if I've lost more than 20 pounds. Probably because I'm two and a half months into this thing already, and I've only lost 20 pounds. That's frustrating to me. Uh, Oki Forge, MTG would be a great VP pick, but I think she'd be more effective in Congress. I disagree. I think she's more effective in Congress, yes, but I do not think she'd be a good VP pick. Uh, she, I just do not think she has the the acumen to really handle things on a bigger level, my opinion. Okay. I, I want somebody who's a little bit more in tune with how things go on in the world. Uh, Buzzard says, awesome progress on the carnivore. One third of my way to goal, 135 days to Labor Day. Thanks a freaking lot. Make it sound like I got short time you know uh brody who do i think sings the best version of the star spangled banner well i'll tell you this it ain't roseanne Barr. uh i not like i've heard everybody sing it uh i've heard some great versions over the years i've heard some absolute terrible ones but i can't begin to tell you who uh You, you see Chrissy, how's Mrs. P doing on the diet? She's doing well. She is down 23 pounds, I think it was, which drives me nuts. I mean, how, I mean, obviously she started weighing a lot less than me and she's lost more than I have. Uh, breed, keep an eye out for sales. Uh, bought almost $500 of beef for $300 today, raised in New York and processed in Florida. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I think I mentioned, was it this morning's video, yesterday's video or stuff like that about going to the grocery store and finding, you know, a pound of uh, Italian uh, sausage for $1.99 a piece. You know, you uh, talked a couple of weeks ago about Mrs. Mountaintop Preps calling me up and saying there was chicken on sale at the grocery store and we went and cleaned them out, at least what was out on the floor at that point. But yeah, when you find sales, stock up, you know, see, it's the fastest way you're going to save money. Who cares if you went and bought 10 packages of chicken this week? Next week, it's probably pork chops that are on sale or the, the it's ground beef the next week. The next thing you know, you go, okay, it's been a month. We got everything. What do I need? Well, I don't know. I saved $500 on all this food. We can eat something. You know, it's the people that go in and pay full price on this stuff. I know. What are you doing? especially in Joe's economy. Uh, Amanda Wilkerson, brown rice can be kept for a little while in the fridge or freezer. Yes, you're correct, but it's not something you're going to put up in storage. It's, it's not, you know, it'll last you, I'd say six months to be stretching it, but honestly, the last thing I'm using my freezer space for or my refrigerator space for is to store rice. Uh, Ildico Prepper Kitchen. Some of my white rice went rancid. Not sure why. 
that's an interesting one. I've never heard that. There's no oils in it to do it, so I don't, I don't get why it would. Do not know. Uh, uh, excuse me. Long day. Uh, Rick's Corner. Pinball, what do I think about balance of nature, a scam or not? Can't tell. I have no idea what balance of nature is, so I don't know. Uh, Montana Grizz fan, there's a shortage of coffee and chocolate. Uh, the coffee, again, somebody else mentioned that earlier. I did not know about that. Chocolate, uh, the only thing I've seen on chocolate recently is, surprise, surprise, and besides we know there's cocoa prices and whatnot, uh, and I think it's in dark chocolate. They're now finding lead in dark chocolate. So, lovely, but yeah, there is a shortage of chocolate. I have heard that uh, that's been maybe about a month ago or so that was brought out first. Uh, Romy Davis says hello from deep south Texas. We talked about you guys today. Uh, let's see. Dave the Kid says the sewer needs a one-way valve installed. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, you know, so nothing can back, backflow. Uh, but I'm going to take it from you guys who are plumbers or sewer engineers or whatever it is. I can't know everything and I'll hope I'll absolutely admit this is one I don't know anything about. Uh, Raven woman. Oh my God. YouTube froze up. Took me over 20 minutes to get back online. That's par for the course uh the original one shot one kill to keep to seal off your sewer just keep water in your drains they all have water traps that's true uh i just i don't i mean that's what keeps the gases out is you know you know by the why there's that little curly cue in the toilet that's you know why you've got a a cur uh elbow in your sink, kitchen sink that's to keep the gases from coming back up that p-trap there helps keep the gases from coming up i don't know if you had backflow of pressure of sewage if that would push through so yeah uh i don't know that uh okay trying to find out Robert Picard says, I forgot about Armed Scholar. Oh, sure. I mean, and I guarantee there's a whole bunch of channels out there that I don't know of. Have you asked me what channels I thought were good? I told you the ones I knew of. I mean, there's there's millions of YouTube channels, guys. I mean, I certainly don't know every one of them. Uh, let's see. Kit Carlson, what brand of soil do I use for acid and blueberry? Okay, somehow this got all convoluted. First off, I don't use bagged soil, okay? Uh, but then, because I use my own compost, grass clippings, stuff, the stuff that I make, okay? And then native soils mixed in. Uh, but to acidify the soil, I use uh, Job's soil acidifier. Uh, sure, you can get sulfur, for, you know, gardening sulfur and stuff like that. That may be a little bit more difficult to find, but I've got Job soil acidifier, about a half a bag mixed in to the soil when you plant uh, a blueberry bush is, depending on the size of it, the figure bush, you know, two feet high or something like that, uh, that should be good. And then you can top dress it every year with a little bit more soil acidifier. You know, but again, go out and get your pH tester for blueberries. You want somewhere between four and a half and five and a half of, uh, pH for your blueberries. Uh, Karen Ferries, did I get all my solar done? Yes and no. It's all installed. It's not hooked up. Uh, we've got an issue that we've got to figure out. They're going to try to do more this weekend or this week is because we hooked all four panels in series because mathematically that was possible because we didn't overdo the, the voltage, the amperage, or the wattage. But apparently somehow it's not working right, so we're going to change the wiring on it. 
to see if we need to do three in series and, and then one parallel or if we need to do two in series and two parallel. So we're still working out the wiring issues. Uh, but I need people here to help. And so in order to get that done, uh, you know, they're doing everything here, but trying to figure this all out. I know that I know my system, they know their stuff. So we kind of got to work together, but I got to work around their schedule. Uh, old hippie 60 pinball. Give us one uplifting, one uplifting word of wisdom. <sighs> November's a day closer. Summer's almost here. Uh, Joe will die one day. Barack Obama will die one day. Hillary Clinton will die soon. There you go. How about, there's a lot of them. Uh, Susan Lathrop, pinball, is it true that even undocumented men 18 and older must sign up for the draft? I do not know. Uh, I mean, it's not an issue that we've really ever had before, but the, the catch is this. How do we, I mean, how do we even know they're here? I mean, this is, how many gotaways do we have, right? I mean, there's a whole bunch of illegals that are here that we don't know where, who they are, let alone where they are. So, yeah, I, I don't know if they're required to sign up for the draft, you know, rather have them sign up for firing squad, but that's my opinion. Uh, shot to the bottom, hang tight. <laughs> Trying to find where I was. Sorry, honey, he couldn't wait. <laughs> Dog's ready to go outside. It's not like I can stop the live stream to let the dog out. Uh, where were we here? Okay, now we're close. There we go. That was the last question. Now I just got to find the next question. Is there a next question? Uh, Patriot Pop says sewer backup preventer can be installed in the house sewer line. Okay, there we go. Uh, original one shot, one killed. JD Vance is the best VP pick. Plus, he'd be sure will for sure be replaced with another conservative. Okay, I'm here's and this is where I'm going to throw this in. Okay, is JD Vance ready to be the next president? Because remember, Trump's only got one term, and whoever is his VP is by default the front runner for 2028. I mean, there's still questions. Could he pick DeSantis? He might. But I want Trump to pick somebody who can step into the Oval Office and take control and continue what he's doing. Okay? I agree with the rest of your stuff. He, you know, No problem getting another conservative in, in his seat, but uh, Candace Owens for VP, Ted Cruz for AG. I'd kind of rather see Mike Lee for AG and Ted Cruz as VP, but that's my my opinion. <clears throat> I'm not going to terribly disagree. I think Candace Owens is the firebrand that is needed. She would be a, that would be a real interesting pick for Trump because her name's never been brought up. Uh, okay, I'm going to skip the rest of the sewer stuff. Talked about that enough. Uh, original one shot, one kill again. Canned meat is the thing to stock up on. It's already canned, right? Sure. Uh, though I can only eat so much spam. Okay. And, you know, you get the canned chicken or the canned beef. Go make any recipe that you have with canned chicken or canned beef and then make it with regular beef or regular chicken and see how it's different, okay? You know, you get those cans of canned chicken or canned meat, canned beef. There's a lot of freaking water in there. There's also a lot of preservatives in there. The stuff that I can has water, 
and salt. That's it. No MSG, no, no polysorbate 80 or, you know, any of that crap. Uh, Carl Lynn, greatest weight loss plan, vote Democratic. Well, if you weigh yourself with your wallet in your pocket, yes. Uh, Prep Rebel, I hit 180 pounds on Friday. That's 70. Okay, if you're telling me you lost 70 pounds, I want to know what your secret is, brother. Uh, Brian B., I'm down 10 pounds. Thanks to me getting off my rump and onto my diet. There you go. Uh, Von Mousetrap, who do I think would be a good speaker if Johnson would be replaced? I... I still wanted Jim Jordan the first time around. I thought, okay, when they put Jim Jordan's name up there, I'm like, this is good. We're going to get there. And then how you had a bunch of idiots who go, no, we don't want him. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. It's a bunch of rhinos. You know. Uh, do, do, do. More sewer stuff. More sewer stuff. Tricia, someone told me they're, I don't know what TGST is, uh, their Maxwell House coffee went up a dollar again. Yeah, coffee's getting crazy expensive. Uh, original one shot, one kill. You got some fingers going tonight, huh? AIM Surplus has Glock 23 Gen 4 on sale for $2.99. Okay. Bought one. They're like new with the case, extra back straps, and manual hangle recommended. Okay. There you go. So if anybody's looking for the pistol, uh, gee, there's your tip. Uh, let's see. Shot to the bottom. So I got to find where we were again. Yep. We weren't too far. Yeah, K-A-K, -K, cock -A. How was weight loss affected my bowling? It hasn't. My average has gone up a couple of points. We're at the end of the season. I think I got three or four weeks left of bowling season, and that's it. But, uh, yeah. But at this point, you know, trying to get your average up when you're 90-some-odd games in or whatever, you know, not going to do much. So I'm still as inconsistent as ever. Uh, Vicky Savage, everyone has a purpose in life, even if only as a horrible example. <laughs> There's a good way of thinking about it. Yeah. Don't be like this guy. There's your example, right? Uh, just smile. Pinball, what do I think will happen with the French Olympics? <sighs> Let's just put it this way. I wouldn't want to be a spectator. You know, let, let's think about the immigration problem France has and the issues going on in the Middle East right now. You don't think that might be a prime spot to pull something off? I mean, there's the world stage. Hell, you can be caught on live TV around the world. Yeah, uh, you know, the sad part is I used to love watching the Olympics. Uh, I mean, I remember, God, what was it? When was I at UNT? 92? When was it the Olympics? I think it was. I think it was, no, maybe it was early. I remember, with it, it had to be 92. Uh, and I remember being in college at the time and I mean, I'd watched the Olympics from the time I got home till they did the last call at midnight. Every night I'd watch what was going on. The whole thing. It was just enjoyable. I just I didn't care what event it was, you know, rah rah, go US, you know, see what happens. Maybe there's some other sport, there's something fun to watch, who knows? They've completely ruined the Olympics with I mean, the the first part of ruining the Olympics was the dream team back in the late nineties with, you know, oh, we got to get Michael Jordan and Larry Bird to play. Right. Okay. You know, the the greatest players in basketball all play in the NBA anyway. 
So it, it's like taking the Yankees and putting them against the Toledo Mud Hens. It doesn't, you know, not happening. So, I mean, it's like, oh, the U.S. only won by 60 today. Well, what did you think was going to happen? You know, and, you know, it's kind of like how they ruin ruined college sports now with this NIL deal and stuff. You know, the, the reason why... Uh, Lake, uh, the Miracle on Ice Lake Placid was so big was because that was a bunch of ragtag college students who beat a professional hockey team in the Soviets. That was why, that was why it was a miracle. It wasn't, oh, I don't know who the, who the hell's a big hockey player now. I mean, let's just use Canada. I mean, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't Wayne Gretzky up against, uh, What's his name? A place for the Capitals. Uh, I can't think of completely losing track of name. It, it's not pros against pros. I mean, if I want to watch pros play, I turn on my TV any day of the week and watch pros play. You know, watch the Olympics. Was, so I I don't care that the Olympics are happening. There's there's no fun in it for me anymore. But I certainly wouldn't want to be a spectator because there's my guess is there's going to be some sort of violent act that happens. Uh, Dave Moran, bullets and toilet paper, perhaps one and two, one and two used to be a joke, not anymore. Yeah, true. The great toilet paper shortage of 2020. I don't think anybody will ever forget that. My Christmas ornament from 2020 mentions the great toilet paper shortage. Uh, Foxy Roxy, do I believe in cloud seeding for weather? And if so, couldn't they use that to help with the draft? Yeah, I, harp is a real thing, okay? And cloud seeding to either prevent rain or create rain is certainly a real thing. I mean, the Chinese did it for the Beijing Olympics. They seeded the clouds so it wouldn't rain, rain over Beijing throughout the entire Olympics. Uh, and I mean, they were wide open, told everybody they did it. So why couldn't they do it to help with the drought? There's got to be clouds. There, you know, there's the thing. You can't see blue skies and create clouds. So we can't just create water. Uh... Sear say, will my garlic sprout once the leaves are removed? Berkshire's mass, 31 degrees tonight. Uh, I'm hope if you should have had your garlic planted in the fall. Uh, but yeah, the garlic will still sprout if you're trying. If you're, if, ugh, if you haven't got garlic sprouted by now, I don't know when you're going to get a harvest. Uh, I mean, garlic is ready to be harvested in about two and a half months. So, yeah, I'm not, you're way late if you haven't got garlic sprouts. You're probably not going to get garlic this year. Uh, did, we, did I get to the end? I shoot down somewhere. Oh, okay, maybe I'm missing uh jay rupee what are the safest states for retired single women to live in uh i would say florida would probably be a really good one uh considering florida's probably got the best laws against a lot of these stupid crimes that have become acceptable in the biden era uh yeah i mean that there's there's not something I've ever researched, and I, I can't begin to tell you I, with what 12 words or whatever. I, there's not enough information I can answer the question. Uh, tactical Matt Foley, what rifle and pistol cartridges do I use? Uh, most everything we've got around here is chambered 9mm, uh, though I do have a small 380, and Mrs. Mrs. P's got a 22. Uh, rifle cartridge, pretty much everything's 5.56 five, and 3.08. So common calibers because they're easier to get. And in any sort of SHTF event, that's what I'm going to find picking up from people that didn't weren't fortunate throughout the day. You know, I don't think you're going to have a whole bunch of people with, you know, 
10 millimeter ammo running around. Uh, Pamela B, are you and Mrs. P sick of meat yet or do you still eat a little veggies and carbs? No carbs. Uh, like tonight, I had a couple of pork chops and a green onion and a radish. Uh, so maybe a teeny tiny something just like that. Uh, but no pastas, no potatoes, no rice, no nothing like that. Uh, the difference, why I don't think we're sick of it yet is because I, I would be if I tried to do what some of these people are like, you just eat ribeyes every day. If I was eating ribeyes for the last two and a half months, I couldn't look at another steak, you know, but we'll have ground beef or we'll have a pot roast or we'll have a steak or some chicken thighs or some salmon or a pork chop or whatever so we at least get some change up and then and if it's a leaner cut of meat like tonight with the pork chops even though they weren't too bad you know they're those i think i told you guys about those ribeye cut pork chops which are so damn good cowboy cut pork chops i still ate three quarters of a stick of butter with it and then when I checked my macros afterwards, my calories from fat were 71% with what I ate today to do pork jobs. Uh, and so I'm in line, you know, with where I should be. So now we just see how my body processes it and hopefully drop more weight. Uh, K Webbles. Oh, this would be a good one to finish with. Pinball, what brand of cigarettes did you used to smoke before you switched to vape? Okay, so this is funny. I'll give you, I don't know if I've ever told you guys this story. So those of you guys who are military, or at least were in when I was in, uh, would remember this. Now, I started smoking when I was in high school. It's probably 16. Started smoking Marlboro Reds like pretty much every other high school kid. And eventually I worked my way to Marlboro Lights. So I smoked Marlboro Lights until I joined the Army, which is when I was 19. And you get to basic training and, you know, you ain't smoking. But you never knew when the drill sergeant would literally yell, yell out, smoke them if you got them. Okay. So the smokers always had a pack of cigarettes in our pocket. Whether or not we could smoke that day, didn't know. And so one day we were probably, I'd say probably five weeks into basic. And... Drill sergeant said, smoke them if you got them. So I pull up, pack of Marlboro Lights I had. And of course, everybody around me wanted a cigarette. Brand new pack of cigarettes. I had them open. I opened it up. I took a cigarette out. By the time it came back to me, I had an empty box. Okay. Now, when I was in the Army, we were making $400 a month. You know, it was a private first class. Uh, and... A pack of cigarettes back then was probably a buck and a half or something like that. So, you know, you were eh, maybe two bucks. Okay. So, I mean, it wasn't cheap considering what we were making. So, the next time uh, we got to go to the PX, okay, little convenience store, basically, uh, I said, okay, I'm not going to do this. So, I bought a pack of I want to say they were Salem's menthols. And so I had those. And the next time they said, smoke them if you got them, I pulled that out, lit my cigarette, and nobody wanted to bomb a cigarette from me. And I was like, and I wound up smoking menthol cigarettes from then until I quit, which was 2013. So at that point I was 47, 40, 46. I hadn't turned 47 yet. So yeah, for what, 25 years, I smoke menthols. So there's your answer. Uh, and now it's a hazelnut butter pecan vape juice that I make for this one. Mrs. P's a strawberry dragon fruit. So that's what it is. But that is it. All right, there was a good one to end it on tonight. A little fun. All right, guys, 10 o'clock. Have a good evening. We'll see you in the morning. Uh, and I'll have everything up for you on your congressman. Pinball out. <laughs>